also. Okay. Now, so if you look at the the this bumper beam, okay, if you search on the internet, okay, you sometimes will get ooze ball. You might even get trip steel. Any idea why? Anyone? Why? Okay. Online information will say it can be ooze ball. It can be also be AISI ten forty five. It can also be trip eight hundred. Any idea why? Anyone? Is it because the B value? Huh? Is it so much higher? It's gonna take. It's gonna take a lot of time to deform or actually fracture. Okay. The answer is this. All online information, at the end of the day, it depends on what you sell. I gave this question to students before. You guys are not the first, and they search on the internet, and they show me documentation proof that trip steel is the best material. Okay. And, and, and I have to justify why trip is not the best material. Okay. Whose ball is the best material? Not trip. Okay, not trip for the bumper beam, right? You agree, right? At the end of the day, it's what you sell. And this is what I'm trying to get down to you, to, to train your online information is easily available. At the end of the day, as engineer, you have to be critical enough to what? To think, is this true? And why? Yes or no? It's not like, oh, they say it's best, okay? Uh, they say it's best. I'm going to buy trip steel for my bumper beam. They say it's best. Yeah, that company sells bumper beam. He manufactured bumper beam. He only know how to do bumper beam. Will he want to recommend you woods ball? No, he wants your business more crying out loud. Yes or no? So uh, a lot of times, okay, a lot of times, right? I, 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 I do consulting with industry up to today. When 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 they when 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 they talk to me and I was not talk to me when I ask them, how do you want your engineers to be trained? Okay, and and and, and, and the information I got is this: I want my engineer to be able to get data from the internet. It's true, but they have to have to be able to have the critical mind thinking is that information valid or not very important yeah ladies and gentlemen this is this is this is important the whole lecture is yeah pardon my friends bullshit but this is critical at the end of the day okay given this sort of information online okay you search on internet you they will you see what is the best material okay and we you know the mechanical behavior right you will pick the right material, not based on what other people are trying to sell you. <laughs> okay, not what other people are trying to sell you. Okay, so for the bumper beam, you guys are absolutely in the right. Okay, we have to use Ooz ball. 1500. Okay. This is because it has a very high A, which is equal to 1040MPA. Uh, and it also has a very high B value, which is equal to 4630MPA. Right? And uh, doing deformation. Okay, so as, so we, we are going to use this material, and some of you. I saw someone in the chat say, isn't this uh, material used in the 50s to 80s, okay? Yes, but we can make it shapey now. How? So doing deformation or doing manufacturing, okay? our heat will be used to deform the material or to deform whose ball into shape. Right? Why you need a heat? Because M 
is equal to what? Zero point. So after you heat, you quench it, okay, you get your shape. Okay, now let me tell you why this material, okay, why Uzbog is the best material and not uh dual or uh, not trip steel or dual phase steel. Okay, let me let me tell you why. Professor. Yes. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Hey, come on, class. Uh, stop this professor bullshit, okay? Just call me Eugene, okay? Okay, shoot. All right. Um, just out of curiosity, if you take the ooze bore out of the equations, equation for now, just, and then if you have just three options left for the for choosing the material, would you, uh, yeah, you would you know, choose trip eight hundred? Yes. Yeah, that's the best one, right? Out of those three. Yeah. Okay. If 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 you if, if if let's say you don't have Uzbo available, but Uzbo is is the preferred material. Okay. If you look at a lot of uh, you can look at handbook now on a lot of cars. Yeah, bumper beat Uzbo. Now the next thing is why. Okay, why Uzbo? Right. Why? So if if I want to plot uh Uzbo and trip, just a sketch. Okay. So Uzbo is here. Right. Trip is. Okay. So this is trip. And let's say upon impact, this is your stress value. Okay. And you can see the strain is so small. Okay, right. So you realize that Ooze ball is not absorbing much energy, is it? Right? The area under the stress strain curve is energy. Well, if you use trip steel, you are absorbing some energy. Okay, but the purpose of the bumper beam is to transmit the load. Okay, so now if if now let's say we I draw a wall, right? Uh, I I draw a wall uh, upon upon impact. Okay, so this is velocity. This is wall, right? Upon impact, let's 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 not look at a wall like that. Let's look at if it's a pillar. Okay, this is a pillar. Right? The extreme case, okay? You are drunk or I'm drunk, I'm going to pillar. Right? Upon impact, this is made of ooze ball. Because of the high A and B value, right? It's not going to deform, right? It's not going to bend. So when it's not going to bend, let me draw this wider a bit. So this is our uh, ball bumper beam. Okay. Then you, you guys can see front side pillar, right? So the energy will go, okay, the energy or the shock wave or the stress wave We'll go to the front side, front side member. Eugene. Yes. Quick question. So. Slow answer. Yeah. Uh, so I'm kind of confused. If if the Uzbar has such a high strength, right, and such a low like energy absorption rate, it doesn't that mean it's really hard? So. Yes. Wouldn't it fracture? No, because the stress, look at the stress. It, it cannot even bend, the, it cannot even uh, strain the material yet. But when, when your ductility is low, doesn't that mean uh, you can fracture easier? Like, I, I get that it's harder and it's strong. Okay, wait, stop you there. 
Can you see you are right? Can you see where I draw the fracture point? Yeah. Yeah. So it has not strained to fracture yet, is it? Okay. Right. So, but but how, how do we know though? Like if it hits that pole at like velocity X, the he the car could be going slow and nothing happens to the ooze bar, but the car could be going fast and wouldn't that like how do we know that if it fractures okay. or I, I like your question. That is why all these tests in Canada are done at 60 kilometers per hour. Hello? Okay. okay. Does that make sense now? Yeah. Right? I'm pretty sure it will break if you go beyond that. That's why people will die if you crash at 150 kilometers per hour. Okay. <laughs> make sense? Yeah. Perfect. Right? So that's why all the, uh, any vehicle coming to Canada, after the design, Canada is the Canada is highest, yeah? Canada is 60. Most of the country is only 50 kilometers per hour. For Canada, it's 60 kilometers per hour. Canada has one of the highest. That's, that's why, that's why uh, you, you don't find some car models in this country. What are they? Those that are made in France. Peugeot. You all know the car Peugeot? French make. Renault. French make, okay? They are not here because they are not passing our what? Press standard. Does that make sense to you now? Yeah, 100%. Okay, right. Now, if we were to make it from any other material, right? Where we, if we were to make it from any other material, okay? So upon impact, Okay, so let's say we, we, we have we have our pillar again, right? So upon impact, right? If let's say we make it from trip steel, for example, you are going to bend. Right? You are going to bend this way. And there's a possibility it might fracture. Yes or no? So when it fracture, right? So this is fracture. Okay, so this is still our bumper beam. Right? This is so when you fracture, right? What will happen? The stresses are not transmitted to the front side member. Okay, so it when the bumper beam uh, bumper beam fracture the stresses will not be transmitted okay to the front side pillar, unfortunately. Okay, so that's where when you hit a uh, collision, you have to be uh, you have to be careful. Okay, uh, pardon me, I'm still trying to get students to come in. Okay. Okay, so this explained why. Okay, so in this case the bumper beam not make from usable. It's made from other, maybe you, you pick 1045, it's cheap, okay? So now, the front side pillar, next we are going to talk about the, the we, are, we, are, we, are, we are going to talk about the, the front side pillar, okay? Any questions about this? Okay, so over here, you want your, your this, all, all this arrow are all your stress uh, weight. Okay, you want them to propagate into the front side pillar, okay? Or front side member, okay? Right, so the next thing that we're going to look at is then what is the best material for the front side member, okay? Sorry, so that example that you just drew, that's any material that's not used bar? Bore? Yeah, the, 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 the number one choice is used bar. Number two is trip. Uh, number three, I will not pick any other. 
Okay. Your face still is way too soft. It's not meant for this. Okay. 1045, no one use 1045 anymore. Okay, 1045 is a benchmark. 1045 is always a reference for 